hello Tina here from Midlife Fabulous where we are a lifestyle channel all about staying fabulous no matter what your age now if you're a first-time viewer then I hope you like our videos and if you do please subscribe that would mean the world to me and give it a little thumbs up because that helps my video and if you're a repeat viewer then thank you so much I really appreciate you watching my videos so now today hubby and I are off to the Otomoheki Spa Park now whilst this might sound like you're going to a nice day spa you're actually going to the Hooker River I'm going to do a uh, free swim in the the river part and let me tell you that's cold and then there's a little waterfall and at the bottom of it it's the thermal spring so you can just sit under that you'll see all that in the video now please stick around till the end because at the end I'm going to give you a few little tips and tricks and things we learned on the day things we could have done better and things we did really well enjoy all right we're at the spa park now we're heading on down to a couple of thermal springs. I don't think they're quite as warm as the ones we were at yesterday, but I think these ones are free, so we're going to go down, give them a go. We're going to have a swim in the Hooker River, and I'll let you know how cold it is or warm it is. And it's November, so just in case you're needing to know what time of the month this is, this is November. And there it is down there. Look, there's Hubby. Hi, Hubby! <laughs> He's gone. He wants to swim. So there are several different spots where you can go in swimming at the Hooker River and we've kind of popped around and had a look at a few of them that this one looks the safest. It's got a little alcove in it so you don't get taken away. You don't have to go out too far. You can still swim. I don't know where these people have come from. Maybe we could ask them. They're going for a little swim down the river and this one would be where I'd suggest if you're not a strong swimmer at all. I've got to tell you it's cold. Put your head in. Yeah, put your head in. Go. <laughs> jump. Just jump. Oh my god, it doesn't get any warmer. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not Australia with snakes oh and god, crocodiles. Okay, get a bit closer to this side. <laughs> Tell me when to come out. Yeah, uh -huh. start coming up. I wasn't joking, it was cold. <laughs> change facility down here and really clean toilets so it feels safe to come down here how cute is this line look <laughs> if you bust and go there all right well we've just had our swim and my god it was cold when we first jumped in but it's worth it i jumped in up the top and floated down which i think you'll see in the video and hubby went for a swim went under the waterfall you reckon it was cold Freezing as <laughs> thought my heart stopped when I jumped in. You go back in though, hey? Off a heartbeat. Yeah, definitely come here. It's um, it's free, it's fun, and it's it's safe and it's nice. Now the walk back to the car. 
Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as we enjoyed swimming in the Hooker River. It was cold, I'm not gonna lie, it was cold and I'm not a huge one for cold swimming, but let me tell you, I would go back any day of the week and do it. I loved it, it was fun. And um, I, yeah, definitely would recommend to do this. It's free. And um, I do wanna say though, if you are gonna be jumping in and doing the swim where you're being taken through with the current, please make sure that you are a good swimmer because it is quite a strong current. And if you're not a strong swimmer then the little alcove part you can just dip your toes in in that part and the part that is the waterfall where the warm bit is under then please please do that as well so just make sure you are a strong swimmer if you're swimming in the the free swimming part now getting there if you pop into your google search or google maps or whatever you use it's spa road in taupo and drive to the end there's a car park pop your car in that car park and then it's a bit of a walk through a park down a hill remember you've got to walk back up that hill on the way back um, and when you get to the bottom I would suggest if you've got some kind of thongs take thongs with you or flip-flops whatever you call them or if you've got some of those wetsuit boots because the rocks are quite sharp under underfoot so if you do have something that you can pop on your feet I wore runners so I had to tippy toe through the um, through the hard rocks so if you want to wear some kind of thongs or um, wetsuit boots that would be to your advantage if you've got time I'd take a picnic you can eat in the park you can eat down by the, the Hooker River, down by the springs, and it would just be a really nice afternoon. So I would definitely do that next time, which we didn't do this time. That would, would be a fun thing to do. Um, and then the one thing that we did do that we really do love was there is a group of little um, local kids there. So we went over and had a bit of a chat to them and they were funny kids. And it was so nice to see kids jumping in the water and swimming instead of just sitting on their phones and their games. So they were laughing, they're on their bikes. They said they come there every day after school. So that was a really good thing. And um, they gave us a really good tip on where to go and have some of the best fush and chops as they call it fish and chips and the two little kids are arguing on which was their favorite and we picked one of them and it really was it was one of the best fish and chips we've had in a very long time and my hubby does love fish and chips so it was a really good tip so I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope if you're in Taupo that you do have time to pop into the Otomoheki Spa Park.